Ha. Hey everyone, how's it going? Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today, I got a special Ranger vlog for you. I got a special package here. And this is from Saban Brands. So um, if you don't know already, I'm a part of the Power Force. It's like a group of uh, fans that were chosen by Saban Brands to kind of help to sort of promote the show in a way and, and, and represent the fandom in, in some fashion. It's, it's you know, it's kind of interesting. They, we don't really get to do too much, but every now and then they send us like some stuff and we make videos about it or they'll tell us like when they announced the release date for the Power Rangers movie, they told us about that and we kind of spread the word. And then of course it was out to the public anyways, but you know, that's kind of how it works. But anyways, they sent us uh, this package because Power Rangers Dino Charge is on hiatus right now. And so they said, you know what, in the meantime, here's a couple toys and other stuff. So um, I have an idea of what's in here because I saw pictures from other Power Force members online. But I wanted to do a little unboxing and show you guys uh, what's in here and talk about that as well. Also, I do have a lot of Power Rangers reviews on the way. Um, I have been working on the ones that I, I mentioned previously, um, the, the Dino Charge training sets, the, the basic Dino Saber, um, a bunch of reviews. I've been, I've been working on a bunch of stuff. It just takes time to do these Power Ranger reviews, so that's the only thing. Um, so don't expect any reviews in the next few days, but very soon I will have reviews. And I say that because this weekend is my graduation from college, so uh, I'm going to be pretty busy with all of that. <clears throat> so. In a way, I guess this is kind of a little gift from Saban Brands to celebrate, so thank you, Saban Brands. All right, anyways, whole lot of packing material. I'll just move that to the side. And what do we got here? Ooh, first things first, we have this Imaginext, it's the Yellow Ranger and Sabretooth Zord right here. You can take a look at that. So this is pretty cool. This is like, oop. This is the, uh, it's like Power Rangers toys that they have geared towards younger kids. So this is ages three to eight. And uh, I've seen a lot of pictures of these and, and they look kind of interesting. I was, I was debating whether I would buy them or not. And then ultimately I decided that I probably wouldn't just because it's just, it's too much else to collect, you know, but this actually looks kind of nice. I'm kind of digging this, to be honest. It's got the Yellow Ranger here, Sabretooth Zord. Pretty cool. I saw some of the other Power Force members got like the uh, Triceratops, the Blue Ranger, so it seems like they're just giving us one of these Zords kind of random. But there's different kinds in the back, you'll see um, different kinds right there. And they have this whole big playset thing too, which is really cool. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So I'm not gonna do an unboxing or review, or rather, sorry, let me rephrase that. I'm not gonna do a review of this item but I'll do an unboxing in a little while. I'm just gonna uh, check out what else is in the box and then I'll do a little unboxing and, and show you guys this. So I'll kind of set that to the side. They actually sent us another Imaginext item. So this is just a set of the Rangers right here. So it's got the green and pink Rangers, which is pretty cool. So they each have their weapons, the, the, um, the power bow and the dragon dagger. The dragon dagger is huge though. Uh, and apparently you can actually collect all the weapons from the different rangers and form the power blaster, which is pretty neat. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the artwork and all the images and stuff on the back. That's pretty sweet. So I'll open this up in just a second as well. So I'll move that to the side. What else do we got here? Ooh, this is pretty cool. We got a uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers glassware set. So they're like little glasses that are designed like the different Power Rangers. That's actually really cool. Shot glasses. Um, and the back has got like, it's Morphin Time. Really cool like packaging too. It's very like nostalgic. And uh, oh, I remember like this image back in the old days. Uh, yeah, that's very nostalgic. That's pretty cool looking. I like that. That's pretty sweet. Thank you, Saban Brands. What else we got here? Ooh, oh, this is one of the Loyal Subjects action vinyls. I saw these. So here it is right here. And what, what these are is it's, they're little vinyls, pop vinyl figures, but they are uh, like blind, blind bags, blind boxes, I guess. So you can get different kinds. Like there's Rita, Goldar, there's all the different Mighty Morphin Rangers. Uh, so you can, there's like all different kinds of Rangers and it's random. So I actually thought these kind of look pretty cool and I like the fact that the Rangers had like the faces plus the helmet that you could attach or take off. The, the reason why I didn't buy these though is because it's random. And in order to collect all of them, I was not willing to spend, you know, a lot of money to, I mean, these are like what, like 
I want to say they're like $13 or a little less, a little more than that, something like that. So it's a decent amount of money for these. Um, and the fact that they're random is kind of, uh, uh, it's difficult to collect them all, you know? But I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what I get in here. So I'll open that up in a second. And then the last thing in here, what do we got? Oh, yes. Just what I always wanted. A Power Rangers Dino Charge toothbrush. Yes. This is awesome. <laughs> This is really cool. So the package, so it's got the Dino Charge Red Ranger on it. Uh, I like how the uh, the the teeth of the, the toothbrush there are like colored like yellow, black, and white, kind of like how the, the Dino Charge, like the, the helmet is too, which is, that's actually pretty cool. It's got a one minute flashing timer light. Encourages children to brush longer. All right, try me. Do I push this or something? I don't know, it's just trying me and I'm trying to do something. It's not doing anything, but okay. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'll brush my teeth with this. All right. This, uh, this makes that the Dino Charger sound that says power up with healthy teeth. It makes that like make so much more sense with this. If only this came with a Dino Charger, then it would be perfect, which I'm wondering how, what Dino Charger even is going to say that sound. I don't know. Fight evil plaque with Dino Charge timer. All right. This is great. So yeah, I'm not gonna do an unboxing of this yet, um, but uh, that's pretty neat. All right, so let's open some stuff. So that's it, by the way, though. So those five things they sent us. So thank you, Saban Brands, for doing that. I appreciate you sending the stuff and, and kind of keeping the Power Rangers talk going during the hiatus. I know it sucks not having new episodes, but at least we have new stuff to talk about and show, so that's that's pretty cool. So first up, let's open this up. The, uh, the Loyal Subjects Action Vinyls. All right. Something is shaking. I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna be. Dun dun dun. Let's try and see. You guys ready? You ready? <gasps> it's a bag. <laughs> so inside is another bag, and oh, this is pretty cool. It's got like a morpher right there, and it says Mighty Morphin Power Rangers there. So, any predictions? Make your final guesses right now. It is. Dun dun dun. dun. The White Ranger. There's his helmet. Sweet. Pretty cool. So here's the, um, it's got a little card right here. It's got like just a generic thing there. And this is White Ranger right there. It's a little card is pretty cool. Uh, here's the actual uh, figure. Pretty cool. It's a decent size too. And it actually like has some articulation, which I wasn't really expecting. So you can move the arms and the legs and even rotate it around. And, and the head and stuff too. Um, well, the head doesn't really move, but the rest of it moves around. Like you can rotate around. There's actually a decent amount of articulation. So that's pretty interesting. Wow, I was not expecting that. That's pretty cool. And the little bag has got his helmet and Saba. So the White Ranger is actually kind of rare. Yeah, if you look at the odds, like Rita Repulsa, Goldar, Lord Zed, the Green Ranger, um, Blue Ranger, Pink Ranger, Red Ranger, Yellow Ranger, all the odds are 2 out of 16. The Black Ranger is 1 out of 24. For some reason, he's even rarer to get. Then the White Ranger is 1 out of 48. He is the rarest one except for the super secret one, which is 1 out of 96. And that is actually the Armored Red Ranger, if, spoiler alert. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got like the actual rarest non-secret one, I guess. So that, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad. I usually get bad luck with blind bags and stuff. Um, but, uh, oh, he's got his detachable little ponytail. It was hidden inside the helmet. So I can uh, attach this in the back if it will stick on. There we go. <laughs> Tommy's got his little ponytail. So there you go. You know, as much as, um, you know, not everybody's, you know, a big fan of JDF and there's all that whatever stuff, right? I mean, ignoring all that aside, and I, I, I'm not the biggest, you know, fan either. Um, Tommy as a character though, I mean, Tommy from the show, I like Tommy and I like the Green Ranger and the White Ranger. I mean, they're classics and they're pretty cool. Here's the helmet and, uh, oh, it, it opens up like that, I see. And then you're able to attach it. Oh, I guess if you want to attach it, you would have to take off the ponytail. That's why it's detachable. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's take off his ponytail. So you can attach the helmet like that. Pretty cool. There's a little white ranger. And here is Saba. It's actually pretty decently detailed. Wow, a lot of paint and stuff for this little thing. That's, I'm kind of impressed. 
Like if you look at the, the detail and stuff in here, the paint and everything, I'm impressed. Loyal subjects, you made some solid figures. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. This is definitely gonna be one that I that I display. This is really cool. I kind of want to collect these now, except for the fact that it's in blind bags, which makes it really difficult. But maybe I'll like, if there's a decent set on eBay that's not too expensive, maybe I'll get it. I don't really care about the armored Red Ranger, and this is the rarest one aside from that, so the rest shouldn't be as, as difficult to get. So yeah, pretty cool. So there's the White Ranger, so that's that. All right, on to um, the Imaginext little figures here. So let's kind of open that up. Let's see. So these are another one that like, I thought about purchasing and then I said I wasn't going to, but if I like these enough, maybe I will. Who knows? Um, I think these have been popping up online. I don't think anyone's found them in stores yet, but they should be popping up in stores pretty soon. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I don't know if they're gonna be in the actual Power Rangers section or in another section somewhere in the store. I'm not, not sure. I don't know, what, maybe with the other Imaginex stuff, maybe it's in like the younger kids area or something. Um, I don't know, but uh, so there's that. So here's like an example, here's what the Ranger looks like. Here's the pink Ranger. In terms of articulation, it looks like the head rotates around, um, the arms move like that and they move up and down and the legs move forward and back. Uh, they don't move apart though. Um, so it's limited articulation, but it's, it's decent enough, I guess, at least for the arms. Um, the helmet looks interesting. It seems like it's kind of missing a little bit of paint. It's just, it's pretty basic. The Green Ranger, similar articulation here. Oh, they actually gave him the silver stripe. And he, oh, he doesn't even have a shield. I just realized that. That's so weird. The Green Ranger doesn't have his shield, but he has the silver stripe on top. So it really makes no sense at all. I mean, I suppose they were doing that to like save on costs, perhaps, not having to build a whole new body for him. But it just, it's a little odd. And the silver stripe just makes it even more odd. I guess they wanted to add some sort of paint. I don't know. Odd decision. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little weird, but I'll roll with it. I'll roll with it. And then uh, I'll just get the Pink Ranger holding her her bow and arrow right there. That's pretty cool. And the Green Ranger with his dragon dagger. Right there. So there you have it, there it is. So a little comparison, by the way. So here's uh, this guy, and then you have your your pop, or your uh, uh, action vinyl from um, Loyal Subjects right here. So definitely very different style of figures. And lastly, we have the Imagine Next Yellow Ranger and Sabertooth Zord. Sabertooth Tiger, all right. So, <laughs> let's see if I can open this up. These actually though, like at least the Zord, just looking at the box, I'm pretty impressed by the way that it looks. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually quite impressed. You would think for something that's geared a bit towards like the younger audience, they wouldn't really put as much paint and stuff in it, but just at a glance, this thing actually looks pretty cool. Um, oh, the Yellow Ranger's like locked in here too. Let's cut her out if I can. There we go. that out there. Oh, and there's also little weapons up here. So yeah, these are actually kind of neat. So they have the uh, Triceratops and they have the Tyrannosaurus Zords. And then they have a giant uh, Goldar with a little Rita Repulsa. They have a Putty Patrol pack. And they have a giant Megazord that's like a command center sort of a thing. Like it's it's huge. It's really cool. All right, so saber tooth Zord right here. So here's the yellow ranger inside. Does she come with her, um, the dragon daggers? You know what? I don't even see the dragon daggers. Huh, that is very interesting. So how would she come with the piece that she needs to form the power blaster? Unless I'm just like missing that somewhere. Or maybe it's like inside. Nope. Huh, interesting. Yeah, it doesn't look like she comes with it. Maybe one of the other toys comes with it. Maybe like the putty patrol pack because they don't really have any weapons. I don't know, I'd have to look that up. But 
This thing actually is pretty cool and it's a pretty big size too. Like if you look at that, like look at the detail on this thing just for a little kid's toy. Uh, like for a younger audience than your typical Power Rangers toy. That's actually pretty cool. The the mouth kind of opens a little bit. The, so the legs move like that. The back legs don't move. The tail does move though. Um, that's pretty cool. And inside you can basically have the Ranger um, like stand in there. So it kind of folds up a little so you can slide the legs inside and then she just sits there just like that. So she kind of sits in there, which is pretty cool. And you can put in the uh, little weapon here and you push the gun, ready? Oh, went past my, my hand, but uh, yeah, that was actually pretty decent. I'll like fire it down here. That's pretty decent. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, the, uh, what else does this do? Is this, okay, interesting. So when you twist, the Yellow Ranger, the mouth kind of moves a little. I don't know if that's on purpose, if that's like the gimmick that it has. Uh, oh yeah, it is. That's right, turn the power pad. Sorry, so if you turn the Yellow Ranger, it's like chomping. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of digging this. I think it's kind of neat. So I don't know if I'm gonna buy the rest. I might. If I do, I'm probably not gonna do a full review of them, but maybe during like some other live stream or some other video, I might just do a little unboxing and just show you guys or something like that. These are, they're pretty simple toys. But they're pretty cool looking, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm digging this Sabertooth Tiger, it's pretty neat. Um, and so all in all, I mean, this is really cool. So again, thank you to Saban Brands. Uh, they sent this to, to the Power Force members, um, so, so I appreciate it. Um, I like the Loyal Subjects figure right here. I, I do recommend getting these, it's just the only challenge is the blind bag. So for that reason, I'm not gonna be buying them, but if I can like buy a set on eBay or something, yeah, this is really cool. I'm kind of digging this. The Imaginex figures might not be for everybody. Um, the figures themselves are kind of, you know, iffy, but the Zords and stuff, this is pretty tight. I, I like this. I think this is pretty cool. Um, this glassware set is pretty neat, and I'm gonna uh, definitely use these, so this is pretty cool. And the toothbrush, of course. This toothbrush is awesome, so yes, this is great. Um, and I think, yeah, I think that's it. So that's um, pretty cool. Thank you, Saban Brands, for that again. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on the way, and I will see you guys later. Hey everyone, so I wanted to talk about one other thing real quick because I know I haven't really talked about it specifically in a video, but uh, as you know, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, or at least Power Rangers, whatever they're gonna call it, the new movie uh, was supposed to come out on, what was the date again? July 22nd, 2016, and it got delayed. So the new release date is January 13th, 2017. So what do I think of this delay? Um, I, I think it was expected because we really didn't know much about the movie for a while, so I, I was expected that it was going to get delayed. Um, I, I am a little wary of a January release because a lot of big movies don't release in January. They release kind of through the spring or summer or sometimes kind of in the in the fall area um, a little bit too. Um, but January is really not a big uh, month for releases. That doesn't mean the movie's gonna be bad. We have no idea. It's just, it's a little, you know, uh, interesting choice, I guess, of a release date. Uh, but it is a week before my birthday in, in 2017. So a week before my 27th birthday. So that'll be an early birthday gift for me. And I'm, I'm excited to see the movie. Regardless, I, I'm, I'm really excited about it. And, and I have faith that Saban Brands will make something really cool. So January 13th, 2017, mark that date in your calendars. Check out the new Power Rangers movie. I'm excited about it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are excited about the movie and what you want to see in the movie as well. Lots more reviews on the way. Like I said, I've been working hard on them, so stay tuned. They're going to be coming pretty soon, so uh, get ready. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.